Hello everyone, Optimus405. Um, before we get on to review, I just want to say um, I'm going to try to upload videos um, later this Saturday, so I'm going to edit a video so that this is going to be uploaded Friday or like Tuesday or Wednesday. They are going to be all uploaded set on Saturday, so I'm sorry. I've just been busy with work and other things. So, today we are reviewing Transformers, Transformers Doctor Moon Human Alliance Robots. Now, he is out of package. Um, I went to Walmart today, figured out, so I need to go and buy something. This was hidden, I think, next to the Creos. So, luckily, I found one. Oh, lucky me. So, here's the packaging. I mean, it's different than the other human line boxes. It's much smaller. It says human lines at the top. It's robot with human battle team. Whatever. Um, This is one of the records, so it's robust. Metech with Sergeant Recon. Um, I can't even see that. I, can't even, I got really terrible lighting. That should, that should do it. Sorry, one moment. Just adjusting my tripod. There we go. Okay. So, it says, Robuster is out racing in vehicle mode whenever he gets a break from pulverizing Decepticons. Okay. Um. He found now allowing humans to ride with him, especially profess professional race, drive um, race car drivers, dropping his technical skills and knowledge from Earth, um, road network. He's even transforms sometimes like to sit back and relax and go for a ride. Um, technical data, strength 8, intelligent 5, speed 8, intel uh, courage 9, rank 9, courage 9, fire blast 6, and skills 5. Now I'm surprised speed is 8. I thought it'd be a little bit faster. So he is human is allowed to ride back on shoulders, which I haven't figured out. Oh, okay. Or right on his back. Like so. He could ride in a vehicle. Um no it's tracker mode I vehicle mode. Levels of three, which I'm surprised. And there's him. In the bottom you have um Bombie with um Sam with Ricky. So let's put it away. And here is Robuster himself. Um He is a beautiful figure. Okay, he's not beautiful, but he is an upgrade to his deluxe figure, which there's some pieces off of him, but there you go. So there is some difference in him. You can't tell, but um, in person, his green is actually a lot lighter than his. His is darker. Um, you see no white at all, unless you go to his knee pads. There is some white. That's all. I mean, yeah. Um, you can see some on there, but, um, uh, his missile launchers are all painted in, his is in, which is a disappointing. So, it's a little aerial view. Um, so, I mean, Robuster is, I mean, I just opened him up and playing with him for a little bit. He's pretty good. Found out. You do have to lock some things in, um, I know some people had problems with his shoulder pad, a segment like this, 
This actually you can actually lock it in place. That's pretty good. Um. So yeah, that's that's a good improvement to the figure. Um. Those are, uh, all right, I'm gonna do this. So you guys get. Usually I don't extend out my tripod. For this figure, you do. I've been getting bad coloring. Okay, there we go. So possibility why I'm thinking. Well, before we do it, he does come with some gimmicks. His blaster. Uh, let back so I don't roll. Well, his missile just went behind my bookcase with other parts, but he also comes with, just like his med tech weapon for the deluxe figure, his chainsaw. It's a pretty nice chainsaw. I mean, it's all black, but you no, know, it can move like that. Like, that's like his own possibility. So, here's Robuster. Um, a really great figure, um, pose Billy can go all the way around, uh, can move his up, his up and down, he does have the ability, so, glasses, then, he has the, uh, I can do it, his, um, I think it's called his visors. So, because there's a little, can you see it? No, but there's a switch right there. Um, he has more details than his um, deluxe figure, and just more paint. Um, arms can't go all the way around. Um, they could do this. Um. Arm rotates all the way around. It has a 90 degree bend and also has that motion. So, because probably because of it's the door, so that's pretty good. And no hand rotation. That's both sides. He has no hip rotation. But that's that's all right. His legs go forward and back, out and in. Um, he has a knee joint here, then a swivel at below the knee and the foot can move. And this guy has a lot of possibility. Now, getting up, standing up straight and have the face looking at him, you may have to bend his legs a little bit, like so, just to get it. Right, but I mean he's awesome. Um, these you can move any way you want. So I'm not going to post the human lines figure. I mean, put on my head. I don't think it's correct, but he's a little guy. Um, he's all green around that sign. Really small. I wish I had the uh, other human lines figures out, but. Oh, do do I do have any other figures out that are like him? Uh, apparently not. Um, I, they're all packed away in the boxes, so no, I don't. Well, that's a bummer. But here's the. Just show off the weapons. Here is. The deluxe mech tech weapon. Okay, and here's the chainsaw. But here's the thing. His vehicle um, once we get to vehicle mode. I don't like his ve his vehicle mode. It's too I don't know. Vehicle mode, good. Robot mode, bad. Um Robot mode, good. Vehicle mode, bad. So if you want the um, I say the deluxe version, 
for the vehicle mode, get it. Get him for the robot mode. I highly recommend it. Um, I may have to put this in two parts, do I? Because this can't go past 15 minutes. Um, so end this right now of Human Lines Part 1 of Robuster. And I'll do Part 2 right now. So, see you guys later for Part 2.